Welcome to Talent Development's video instruction series. My name is Danny Jones and I'll be your host. In this video, I'll be demonstrating using transparent paper to create one, two, and three-fold designs. I will also demonstrate how to use transparent paper to determine rotational symmetries. I'll be using the name transparent paper to represent the various materials such as wax paper, deli patty paper, or other semi-transparent yet foldable paper. We have found that square, semi-transparent paper works best. We encourage teachers to use manipulatives, like transparent paper, so students can comprehend and remember mathematical definitions and concepts. Let's begin. I will begin my demonstrations by creating a one-fold design. First, I start with a square of transparent paper. Holding the paper in the lower right-hand corner, I fold the paper in half. Make sure to fold the paper evenly to create a crisp fold line. Now I take my scissors in my right hand and cut out a design. I'm going to cut a design that leaves most of the fold intact. I generally begin my cut from somewhere in the lower section of the paper. Then I cut my design, ending in the upper portion of the paper. Now remove the leftover paper, unfold the paper, and lay it flat to reveal the design. Once the paper is laid flat, the line of symmetry becomes visible. An object's line of symmetry is the line along which an object can be reflected or flipped so that one side of the object matches the other side. As you can see, the shape to the left side of the line of symmetry looks nearly exact to the shape on the right side, only it is flipped. How many lines of symmetry does this object have? The design I created here has one line of symmetry. Teachers should encourage students to exercise their creativity while creating their designs. We begin creating a two-fold design exactly the same way we did for a one-fold design. Holding the paper in the lower right-hand corner, fold the paper in half. Make sure to fold the paper evenly to create a crisp fold line. Create the second fold by folding the bottom of the transparent paper away from you and aligning the edges and corners of the paper at the top. Make a crisp fold at the bottom. Now you have created a square with a common corner. Holding the common corner in my left hand, I can now cut out a design by holding the folded paper at the common corner. Just as I did with the one fold design, I begin my cut in the lower section of the paper and end in the upper portion of the paper. When I remove the cut and unfold the paper, a new design appears. How many lines of symmetry does this design contain? This new design has two lines of symmetry. You can also draw a design on the paper to use as a cutting guide. After making your second fold, hold the transparent paper at the common corner and draw on your design. Now holding the paper at the common corner, I cut out my design. Creating a three-fold design starts with the same process as creating a two-fold design. First, hold the paper in the lower right-hand corner and fold it in half. As before, fold the bottom of the transparent paper away from you and align the edges and corners at the top. Make a crisp fold at the bottom. Now we will create our third fold by holding the paper at the common corner and folding the lower right corner to the upper left corner. Remember to fold the paper evenly to create a crisp fold line. Holding the common corner in my left hand, I cut out my design on the fold line to the right of the common corner. When I remove the extra paper and unfold the paper, a new design appears. How many lines of symmetry does this design contain? This new design has four lines of symmetry. Transparent paper is an advantageous tool to use when determining rotational symmetries because I can both trace and see through the paper at the same time. Rotational symmetry only exists if an object can be rotated less than 360 degrees about a point and match the original design at any point before reaching 360 degrees. I'm going to use this square of transparent paper to determine if this object has rotational symmetry. First, I'll place a mark to represent the top of the object. 
Now, I'll lay the paper over the object and trace the top mark first, and then the object. Now, I'll rotate the paper about its center. If the object matches before I've rotated a full 360 degrees, the object will have rotational symmetry. Since this object matched at 90 degrees, which is less than 360 degrees, this object has rotational symmetry. Let's see how many more times it matches as we rotate. Here is another. and a third. After a full 360 degrees, it matches again. I know I have rotated a full 360 degrees because the top marks align. How many total rotational symmetries does this object have? This object has four rotational symmetries. The angle of each rotational symmetry was 90 degrees. Let me demonstrate another object. As before, I begin by placing the top mark on the object, placing the paper over the object, and tracing the top mark and object. Then I begin to rotate the object about its center. I've rotated 90 degrees and the object does not match. I'll continue to rotate and see if the object will match at any other degrees. Here at 180 degrees it matches. I begin rotating again. The object doesn't match at 270 degrees, so I'll continue rotating. I find that the object makes another match when we align the top points at 360 degrees. How many rotational symmetries does this object have? This object has two rotational symmetries, and each rotational symmetry angle was 180 degrees. Let's see if this final object has rotational symmetry. I begin with marking my top point and tracing the point and the object. I'll begin rotating the object to determine its rotational symmetry. This object only matches after a full 360 degree rotation. Mathematicians would say that this object does not have rotational symmetry. Remember, rotational symmetry exists if an object can be rotated less than 360 degrees about a point and match the original design. This concludes the demonstrations for using transparent paper to create one, two, and three-fold designs and rotational symmetry. Using manipulatives and visual demonstrations like these to better illustrate geometry's concepts and definitions has a lasting effect for its students and teachers alike. We hope that you use these manipulatives and encourage you to be creative and design your own demonstrations. More information and exercises on transparent paper are available in Talent Development's Geometry Foundations workbooks. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, and we welcome you to view the other instructional videos in Talent Development's Geometry Foundations video instruction series.